Swings can be an absolute lifesaver for new parents. But you know, an interesting thing is that not all babies like the motion of a swing. So I always recommend waiting until after you have your baby. And a great pearl of wisdom for you new parents is to set up a play date with a mommy friend who has the swing that you're looking for. Ask them in advance, hey, do you mind if my little one tries out your swing? Most parents are not gonna mind that. That way you can test out and see, does your baby like the motion of a swing? Is it gonna fit into your house to not take up too much space? Once you have that figured out, let's hear my top three recommendations for the best swings for all different budget types. If you have a small budget, check out the Fisher Price Space Saver Swing. Now this swing starts around $70, which is a great value, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is great. It can fold to be relatively small, but one interesting thing about this swing is that it only goes from forward to backwards. It's not gonna swing from side to side. In my experience, most babies prefer to swing side to side. So again, this swing might not be for everyone, but it can be great if you live in a city or you don't have a lot of space for your little one. It comes in fun, different, vibrant patterns. Another thing I love about this swing is the removable toy bar. When your baby's a newborn, I recommend not using it, and you can add it as your baby's vision starts to improve because it makes it really fun for your newborn baby. In the medium budget category, I love the Fisher Price Snug Bunny Swing. And let me tell you, you need to get your cameras and video cameras ready because your little one is gonna look so adorable in this swing. I used the swing for my little guy and it was absolutely a lifesaver. And what makes it so cool is that it swings in three different motions. You can adjust it with just the simple turn of a dial. Another thing I love about the swing is that it plays music and you can set it to turn off after different amounts of time. It has a mobile that you can either use or not use. I also love that it has the mirror so the baby can look at themselves as their eyesight begins to improve. Now, when is it time to not use the swing anymore? You can generally tell because around six months of age or so, they might start reaching up to that mobile and making it stop. That's when you know you've got to stop using that swing. I know it's sad, parents, because the swing is such a lifesaver. And you know, it's an interesting tidbit. Dr. Harvey Karp actually says that it's okay to let your baby sleep in a swing. I know this can be controversial, so it's really important that you make the best decisions for your family and your little one. Now, one more thing that I absolutely love about the Snug Bunny Swing over other Fisher Price Swings is that it can be plugged into the wall to use electricity. This is gonna save you time and money over the long term because the swings really eat through those big D batteries that can be expensive. Now for those of you with larger budgets, check out the Graco Duet Swing and Rocker. What makes this so cool and honestly a little revolutionary is that it combines a bouncer and a swing into one. So you're getting two different pieces for $149. I can't tell you how many times my husband and my mom used to stub their toes on the bar of this bouncer all of the time and there's nowhere to put it. Now what's so cool about this one is that you simply take this seat off and you can place it anywhere and it functions as any bouncer does. It vibrates and does all of the things that you need a bouncer to do. Now when you're not using it or when you wanna use the swing, you simply hook it onto the swing and this becomes the seat of the swing. That to me is genius. Now a few other features for this swing is that it has a mobile and it plays music. Another thing I love about this swing is that it uses electricity power so you're not gonna be burning through those D batteries. So those are my top three mommy must have swing recommendations. And remember parents, not all babies like a swing, so before you go out and purchase one, make sure that your baby likes the motion of a swing. Otherwise, it's just gonna be taking up more space that none of us new parents can afford. Happy swinging, and I'll see you on the next episode of Mommy Must Haves.